Wow, 400 videos, 400 videos. Thank you guys so much for subscribing, for watching my content, for believing in me, for commenting, and just supporting the channel. Thank you guys so much. It means a lot to me, and I can't believe we're here at 400 videos, and we just surpassed 13,000 subscribers, headed towards 14. No problem there. It's crazy how many people were getting on the channel. And I'm just blown away as, as how far I've come uh, throughout the years and all the friends I've made and, and just all these different things I've learned. And I'm still learning. I'm still trying to do better on my video production. And I don't have a mic on me and all the, all the uh, echo. I do apologize. I'm still working on it. And just trying to do a better job on my content. And I'm getting all these sponsors coming at me saying, hey, can you review this? Can you review that? So I want to take it more serious and be a better uh, content creator. So it's one of those hobbies that I love doing because to see people interested in what I do is just amazing. And I'm very thankful for all you guys for watching all my videos. And I feel like I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for the content that I made and just pursuing that a little bit. So... And in this video, I wanted to do so many different things for the 400th special video and do something crazy, but uh, I pushed this video for a week now and I think it's time to do something. And I had so many ideas and I want to throw everything all in one video, but I felt like it was just too much. So I hope you guys enjoy what I bring for you today in this one. And we're going to start off with the full room tour. I think that would be great to show you my space. And I've come a long way, guys. Now, I just didn't get any of this stuff just yesterday or, you, you know, like the next day. I waited a long time. I saved my money. I worked hard. I got things here and there. And every year, I'm like, I always say to my wife, oh, I can get this now for Black Friday. I'm going to wait for next year to get this for Black Friday or whatever. And we're always on a budget. And I'm always on a budget. So I'm always looking for things that are like used, pre-owned, or you know, just I'm trying to be like that that guy who doesn't have all the money in the world to get the latest and greatest stuff. So I like to be in, no, in those shoes because that way it makes me more humble. It makes me more thankful for everything that I have, and help all you guys out there too who are not really in that position or have the money to buy everything all at once or whatever like that. So I want to continue to do like budget stuff, budget room stuff, budget room tours and things like that. I think it'll be a lot of fun. Or not budget room tours, but more of like budget pickups and just start that trend on the channel a little bit and help you guys out in what I'm doing. So hopefully you enjoy this video and the space that I created here for myself. There's still a lot of work to do. And like I said, I'm always on a budget, so I can't really get everything all at once. And that's what I wanted to do, but I know I can't. So I'm just going to share with you my space now. And hopefully towards the end of the year, it would be a little bit more improved. But uh, here it is in its state. So I hope you guys enjoy this one. Let's start off with the door. Everyone always starts off with the door. And I got a beautiful white door here in my newly renovated apartment. So let's... Open the door, open sesame, and here is the space, my office space. And I finally got my new gaming chair just this week, and I've been waiting to do this video. Uh, I wanted to get that first before I did this uh, whole room tour video. So there's my awesome, crazy abstract wall. And I installed those new LED lights that are going around my desk this week, too. And just quick shot at everything here. Here's my old gaming PC. Just kind of really quick hookup here. And here is this wall. Cool design. I just kind of eyeballed. It's not perfect, so it's. I just did it freehand and 
I was hoping for the best. Looks cool, but it doesn't really work. They're acoustic panels to stop the echo in the room, but it's not really working. I need more. <laughs> and I'm learning as I go, so there's nothing behind this door. I try to keep it as clean as possible. Yeah, there's nothing over here. I try to just keep it minimal and not be so overwhelming. But I'll have links in the description down below to everything that I'll be showing you here today. And I do have another chair that I'd like to throw here, but this setup is just a quick setup for me to make my thumbnails for YouTube. Unfortunately, I can't transfer my SSD from this old PC, which I was using. This was my main PC before I built the new one here, which I'll show you in just a second. And I have a rigged Photoshop, uh, which I bought for like 10 bucks, and I rigged it where uh, the online services won't see it, and it's kind of hidden away, so that way I'm not getting that stupid message saying, hey, you need to buy the, or you need to upgrade to this Photoshop, or we're no longer supporting this, and I'm still using it. And I can't transfer that to my new PC for some odd reason, just doesn't want to... Uh, open up so that's why I have this PC here and I want to dedicate this to photo editing for my wife and just for the family so I think that that would be a great idea for this PC. The monitor here is an old monitor that I bought I think two years ago and I got it off Best Buy. No it was last year it was for uh, Black Friday it was like 50 bucks this is a really cool uh, keyboard I did an unboxing on this one it's called the Yunzi keyboard. Very clicky. And the terrible Red Dragon uh, mouse that I bought off Amazon too. I was trying to play Warcraft on this, but I kind of don't like the style or the feel of it. So that's just a backup mouse. So yeah, this has the 8350 CPU, old school, with the 970A motherboard and 32 gigabytes of uh, memory. And the GTX 1060 from, I forgot the company's name, but it's a really cool all white design graphics card. And the Cooler Master CPU cooler. And I forgot her name, for she's from My Hero Academia. These are acoustic panels, but I don't think they're really working. They did a little bit. They did take out a little bit of echo, but um, not as much as I thought they would. So, yeah, I love these a lot, and I don't plan on putting any more. Just because I like the look of it already, and I don't want too many. Now, in this space, I still plan to put a couch, like a slim couch here, for relaxation, for... My daughter, for my wife, if they want to come in and see what I'm working on or whatever, and just for me to lay down. Uh, if I get in trouble with the wife and I could just lay down here, I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> but I really w always wanted a couch in my space. That way I can have my friends over or family over and they can sit down somewhere and relax or just have someone spend the night or whatever. And I love this lamp. I got this at Ikea and... Honestly, this whole design that I got going on here, this whole crazy design was inspired by that lamp. I loved that design of the lamp and I never seen anything like it. And when I went to Ikea, I was like, I need this lamp. This thing is so cool. I love it so much, the crazy design. And my wife built it like that. And the whole white aesthetic started with a CPU cooler that I found at Micro Center. And I was like, they make a white CPU cooler? That is so cool. So that's when my idea of all the white design came. And I was inspired by that to continue and pursue the whole white aesthetic look of a design that I wanted, always wanted. And these lamps I got from my brother and his lovely wife for my birthday and they're working just fine 
Now this four cube shelf I found on the Facebook marketplace blah, place for 10 bucks and it, it is a little bit used up but it's better paying uh, 10 bucks than $45 at Ikea and I bought these really cool cubes from uh, Amazon these were a little bit expensive for a four pack I think it was like 40 bucks or something but really cool I tried to this this color I was trying to make it a little bit different from my previous room but it's not really matching the floor so I'm gonna have to change that up a little bit and see what I can do from there and here is my old old computer my first computer that I was so excited about the iMac G4 I love this design so much I fell in love with it and I needed this computer in my life and unfortunately I cracked the monitor because I wasn't careful and I wasn't taking good care of it and this has a special hard drive of a hundred I think 200 gigabytes and that's kinda jerry-rigged so it's a unique piece now on my window I have these really cool I don't know if you want to call them fairy lights I think the batteries are dead yep they are but there's these really cool lights that I got at Marshall's and just kinda give it a little bit of light there at the window I don't know if it's too girly, but I, I really don't care. I like it. It looks good. It looks cool. It fits the scene a little bit in here. And in these cubes, I really I don't organize as much as I should. But here is just more of the cables I use a lot. This is a freaking mess. This one is also a mess. These are the two that I really need to work on. This one has more of my PSP games and... I think some consoles in here too and just some phones and stuff that I have had throughout the years in my previous room I had two desks one here and one here this one was dedicated for eBay and this one was dedicated for the shipping table and I completely changed that so I can have more room for that couch and now I'm sticking to this really long table that I found at IKEA and most of the furniture I have is from IKEA because they do a great job uh, and it's it's affordable and it looks nice and this really long table works great for what I'm trying to do and I have my 2010 27 inch Mac that my beautiful mom let me buy when I really needed something powerful and I didn't have anything good to work on my eBay stuff and YouTube and just have fun so she really went out her, of her way to buy me this computer and I love my mama so much that she really did that for me and I always forget about what she did and, and I shouldn't be like that and just because I don't see eye to eye to, with my mom today so I just hopefully she watches this video one day and, and knows that I, I love her a lot and I miss her and hopefully we can figure things out here soon got this really cool plant at Cub I think I forgot to water the guy but you only want to water him once a a week here I have some of my favorite World of Warcraft pops my only ones actually and the reason why I have them here is because this computer was the first computer I started gaming on so I was playing uh, World of Warcraft League of Legends and all sorts of other games so brings a lot of memories very nostalgic to see these guys sitting here next to the computer where I first started gaming on a computer and here is the Red Dragon keyboard. And I switched some of those keys out because I wanted something a little different and just spice up the keyboard a little bit. And it's a little dusty because I haven't really used it and I haven't been cleaning like I should. Here is, I forgot what kind of mouse this is. This really cool mouse. Very cheap for like 15 bucks on Amazon. Works great really cool RGB effects gets the job done so I use this computer now just to print out labels do my eBay stuff and things like that I have my printer hidden in the back here it's my zebra printer dedicated for printing labels moving on to this thing pretty cool I found it at IKEA on clearance with another 
uh, piece of artwork or canvas and they were bundled together. I have the other one in the closet and I just can't figure out where to put it or it's warped so I can't really hang it up properly. Down below we have the beautiful pink and white PSP 1000 from Japan. Beautiful pieces, I love them so much. Next to it is my half-assed PS4. I just fixed him up and that's what I mean by half-assed. This is coming off or I have it off because it gets too hot and the metal plate that goes over it is bent so it doesn't read discs properly. There's my router in the back. So here is the main setup, my main battle station, the beautiful wall that I eyeballed and it's not perfect but I really love that design. It looks so beautiful and it works perfect with what I'm trying to do in here. And here is the beautiful PC I built last month. So I sold most of my Funko Pops to get this bad boy together and I'm so happy about it. Still trying to learn how to figure out a few things here. It's very powerful but I feel like I'm not using it to its full potential. I'll have the specs on this beautiful piece down in the description below. And you can see the crazy design of the case. I love this case so much. Nice mesh front with the design also on the front. Very cool. Here is my Logitech G9 900 headphones or G933. There we go, G933 headphones, wireless, with the really cool RGB. These are pretty sweet, and they're so comfortable. This speaker here is from Ikea, it's a Bluetooth, and I have it currently hooked up with the audio cable to my PC, so anytime I'm getting tired of the headphones, or if they die, I can just turn that on and listen to whatever I'm watching or music and it works just great and it is Bluetooth so I can hook up my phone the iMac or whatever is Bluetooth compatible and listen there here are the two beautiful curved 144 Hertz monitors from Scepter, Spectre, something like that and they're working just fine love them so much they're both running at 144 Hertz there's my beautiful PS Vita. And here is my main keyboard, the beautiful Red Dragon Kumara that everyone fell in love after my video. My video that almost went viral. It's at half a million views right now. And the Razer Basilisk White Edition mouse. It's an FPS mouse, but it's working good for all sorts of different games. Here's my tilted mat, the cyberpunk chick on here, very nice. What do you guys think? Does this color fit in this setup? I don't know. I feel like it does and I feel like it doesn't some days. Whoops, I'm bumping into my chair here. Here is my All Might pen. He's here, make it happen. So I spilled Mountain Dew on some of the pages that I was working on and I have to start all over but this is just a little notepad that I use for the videos that I want to create. Any ideas that I come up with, I can just jot them down and go from there. And this is the controller to the RGB light strip that's going around the desk that you see there. Also picked up at Amazon. So I do have it hooked up all over the monitors there for better lighting. And it's working just fine. So below my desk, I have a couple of connections. I have an audio cable here, extension. That way I don't have to go all the way in the back of my PC. Here is a USB uh, slot, along with my Type-C charging cable for my phone. Anytime I want to charge my phone, boom, I can start char charging that. And it is coiled up, or however you want to say it. It's all organized, so it's very convenient to have this there. And I do have my micro USB 
cable to charge my headphones and anything else that's micro USB to charge. And this is connected to the PC, so it will hook up to PC no problem. And here is the switch to the RGB lighting, so if I can hit that, I can change the colors here if the wireless control is not working. And here is for audio, so anytime That's pretty cool. And as I'm talking, it should change, and you can change the different effects. You can have it change to different colors, or have it one color sitting there. You can see. That is pretty rad, and I really wanted that strip in this room. I think that would be sick. And there is the different color changes to the strip. So here is my cable management. Not perfect, but it's better than having them on the ground. There's my Elgato back there that's not working, so I'm going to have to figure something out there. There is the Last of Us Part 2 Collector's Edition box, which I'm just going to keep there because it looks great. And I'll have an unboxing of this very soon, so stay tuned for that. And moving on to this final part of the desk, and that is another cube. A four shelf cube that I bought off the Facebook marketplace again for 15 bucks and here you'll find more PSP games it's more organized on this side we have PS4 games and here we have more PSP games and movies down below we have comics and my World of Warcraft collector's edition Warlords of Drainer and the Blizzard artwork box and some other Stuff like cards, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, Pokemon cards, and some manga down there. Up here you'll find some of my favorites or the last remaining of my Funko Pops. We have the All Might Weekend, my favorite all-time pop of all time. Of all time, my favorite pop of all time. <sighs> the All Might Weekend of all time. And we have Deku Glow in the Dark from Entertainment Earth. Signed by uh, Justin, who plays uh, Deku. And we also have Tenya signed. We have the All Might signed to Ray, United States of Smash by Chris Sabat. Awesome. Sean Schimmel, Goku, Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Amazing, but he did a terrible job with the Black Sharpie. Why, Sean? Why? And Austin St. John, the original Red Ranger from Power Rangers, signed to me. It's Morphin Time, and some awesome fake Superfly gold and white boots. And down here we have the Darth Maul sign by the actor himself at a comic uh, convention here in Minnesota. I forgot which one it's called, but it's canceled now. And the beautiful Ellie from Last of Us Part Two statue. Still trying to figure out a good spot for her. I just barely unboxed it today. And I just sat her there just because uh, I don't know where else to put her. So she's just sitting there. Here is the beautiful gaming chair from GT Racing. I just did an unboxing on this and full review. So stay tuned for that unboxing and full assembly tutorial video. Nice. Looks really good and it fits my setup and it's very comfortable. Out of the four gaming chairs that I ever bought, this is the best, most comfortable chair I've sat on. And it works great. I'm so happy with it. And to end this tour, I'll show you my closet here. And it's a little bit of a mess, but it's working out for me. So, there's no power in here, so I have a cable down below that's running across, you'll see the cable there, that's running across and going to the power outlet. That way I can have my wireless printer hidden away and charge all sorts of different things that I need charging up here. You can see all the cables and just, it's just a mess in here, but it's more of like a utility 
tool closet. I don't know what you call it, but I'm trying to keep it organized. You can see him working on it, and I left a can of Mountain Dew in there. <laughs> oh boy, I got a lot of work to do in here. So my skateboards that I don't have hanged up. And that is basically it, guys, for this room tour. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. There's some more of my PSPs back there. And I needed that lamp hooked up because I can't see anything. And there you go. And that is it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Any questions, comment down below. And I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. And hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video in the future. A big hug from me to you. Thank you so much. We made it to 400 videos. And now on to 500. And hopefully we can make it. And by that time, I hope that we make it to 20,000 subscribers. That would be awesome. So thank you guys so much. Take care. And I'll see you on the next one.